everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Prince of Articulation. My name's Dave and today we're looking at the Hot Wheels Star Wars Boba Fett Slave One. Now its name may be Slave One, but the actual name of the ship is the modified Fire Spray 31 class patrol craft. When I was a kid, I adored this ship. From the Micro Machines to the Shadows of the Empire line with the one that went with the figures, the big sucker. Awesome! So what do I like about it? What I love is the fact that when it lands, it goes like this. And Hot Wheels actually released this the first time on a stand like this, with the winds up. And I didn't care for that, but now, with the Last Jedi line, they have it in flight pose, and that is sick. Ever since I saw it in The Empire Strikes Back, I fell in love with it, and I'm so glad to have one in my collection. And yes, I know previously I reviewed one with the metallic mirrored gold, but it's nice to have one in the real iconic colors of the film. Now with this ship, the size is about two and three quarter inches tall, which is very nice. So we do have a lot to cover. We're gonna look at the mold, the paint, put on a stand, compare it, and then we'll be done. So let's get moving. So starting off back here, we have our rivet, a screw, stand connector port, and our engines. And just look at all this great detail. Fantastic. Copyright crap. Amazing. Now this would look great with a black wash to show off all these great details. Now we have our stabilizer fins, which are nicely done. Some great details there. And the same on both sides. Awesome. Then we have our skirt section, which covers the engines. And there's a lot of molded detail on there, which is nice. I always like this area right here. Now back here, you can see there's a lot of molded details in there. Also another rivet. But right here, this would extend out and this would open back here. And that's basically the boarding ramp. I like that a lot. Now coming up to the main body here, we have our twin blaster cannons. And then also hidden inside here, we have our missiles and all that stuff. But some great designs here. Pretty sick. And then finally we have our cockpit, which is nicely done, smooth. We have a little dimple there, but it's not too bad. Just look at all the little details around it. Fantastic stuff. And that's basically everything I have to say about the mold at the moment. So let's take a look at the paint. Alright, when it comes to the paint of Boba Fett's Slave 1, we have a big handful of colors here. First of all, let's start in the back. We have this uh, cast plastic, which is like a greenish color, almost like a light mint mixed with gray. And that's for the stabilizing winds here, and actually the main color of the ship. We can see they paint over that with a nice maroon color, and I think they did a decent job with that. And I love that detail, it makes it look worn and beat down. Very cool, we have dark gray here, and if we turn it in the back, more dark gray, glossy black, and speaking of glossy black, we have a nice cockpit right here. Look at that glossy black. Awesome. Now on top of that, we have some green, and I think that came out pretty good. Light gray on the side right there. And then we have a little white sections right here, these two rectangles. Oh no, I think the paint is magnificent on this. Sure, a little black wash would help bring out some of the details, but for what it is, I think it's awesome. And we can see down here where we have the painted gray mixed with the uh, minty gray color of the molded plastic right there. You can see they tried to match it. It's a little close, but not really that good. But nonetheless, pretty awesome shit. So that does it for the mold and the paint. So let's put this bad boy in a stain, compare it, and then we'll be done. And just like most Hot Wheels ships, comes with a cool stand. Pick it in a port like so, hear that click, and you're good to go. All right, for a size comparison with the Hot Wheels Slave 1, we have the Hot Wheels Millennium Falcon, the original trilogy version. Nice ship, I reviewed that a couple times. The Rebel U-Win Fighter, very nice. And finally, just for fun, the Transformers Titans Return Legends Class Sea Spray. Great ships all around and cool figure. And that does it today for my review of the Hot Wheels Star Wars Boba Fett Slave 1. Just a little recap, the size of this ship is about 2 and 3 quarter inches tall, which is very nice. And it does stand out amongst other ships in the collection, which is very good. 
So I'll make this short, I really enjoy this ship a lot. For the pros, the detail is amazing. The paint is very nice. We got several different colors here working together in harmony. I would have liked a little black wash to show up the details a little bit more. But for what it is, it is awesome. And to make it better, it comes with a great stand. And also, the price is amazing as well. You can find this at retail right now, December 2017, at $4.99 at Walmart, Target, Toys R Us, Best Buys, and Barnes and & Nobles. Now, if you're looking to buy this, you can look at the stores I just mentioned or go online to various online shoppers, including Amazon and eBay. So I recommend this ship for anybody who's a fan of the Scum and Villainy faction, Bounty Hunters, and of course, Boba Fett or Jango Fett. So that's everything I have to say about this ship today. I hope you enjoyed this quick review. If you did, hit that like button. And if you would like to see new reviews every Thursday, subscribe. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.